Welcome to your daily love reading. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's get your guys' uh, guidance card for the day. We will go Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in that order. So Aries, you have the word Lord. Communication, praise, and dishonesty. Leos, you guys have the high Lord of grat gratitude and service. Selfless, um, conscious action, and Sagittarius. All right, you guys got the Hawk Prince, spirit communication and paying attention. All right. So, Aries, with your guidance card for the day you have the word lord which is the word lord uh rules communication of all kinds and lets you know that positive interactions can be expected when he arrives as your ally he only speaks with positive words and praises all he sees he reminds you of the laws of abundance and praise when you bless the world, it blesses you back. When you say affirming, supportive words, they carry out an energy that returns to you in the physical form. Remember that each one has the power and will to resonate into the universe, seeking its reflection in manifest form. Your body responds to praise, as does everything in the world around you. Praise it for its inherent health and beauty. Applaud yourself for everything you do, as even the tiniest accomplishments are important now. Praise your bills. Give thanks for the services you enjoy and the ability to pay them increase as you align with spirits increasing power. This is also a time to remember the powerful practice of affirmations. Write them down and speak them aloud as a spiritual exercise. Say it is so and it will be. It is a very auspicious sign that the word Lord chooses to be your ally. Leos. You guys have the High Lord of Gratitude and Service has arrived to help you to find your true purpose today. Feeling gratitude for each moment you experience and loving what is and what has been will remind you that every breath you take holds a deep and profound awareness. Uh, through small actions and selfless service to another, you automatically placed upon your highest path, whether you're immediately aware of it or not. The presence of this ally lets you know that you're on the correct path to fulfilling your desires. You're also notified that your actions of service and attitude and gratitude will yield riches beyond your wildest dreams. As long as those riches aren't the goal you have in mind. Giving service with no thought of return is what is required of you today. This would also be a good time to write a list reminding yourself of all the things in your life and world that you have to be grateful for. In regards to a relationship, let gratitude be your guide. Be thankful for all you learn from this person. Truly, there are no friends and no enemies, just teachers along life's journey. Be grateful for the laughter and even for the tears. The attitude of gratitude is a magnet for true love in all forms. And Sagittarius, you have the Hawk Prince. The Hawk Prince appears with good news. He flies into your life to alert you that you have a message coming to help you manifest your destiny. Expect a phone call, letter, email, or conversation that lets you know your next step to take toward your highest good or to tell you that you've arrived at an important stage along your path. The Hawk Prince is also the ally for spirit communication, so pay attention when you think you hear something important pop out at you on the radio, on TV, or if it's even just hearing a conversation of strangers. Spirit is constantly in dialogue with you. Are you listening? Stay open and expect spirit to speak to you and show you the way to your prosperity in all aspects of your life. Okay, so we will start with Aries here. All right, Aries, let's see what you need to know in love today. Spirit Angels, what message do you have for Aries, men and women in love? Please bring me the most important message that will bring that is for their highest and best good. Thank you. All right, Aries. All right, 
Aries men, you have the Four of Swords. Aries females, you have the Emperor. Your guys' situation you are dealing with today is strength. Your challenge is the King of Swords. In your recent past, you have the Star. In your near future, you have the Hermit. And the basis and foundation for your reading is the Death card. Yeah, there's nothing behind that really of importance. So, all right. So both um, men and women, you're dealing with having to find that balance, to find that internal peace and to balance out your life um, within, balancing out the shadow and the light, um, your fears, your doubts versus your hopes and wishes. Um, you're going through a transformation, especially uh, you Aries men, and part of your transformation, part of your healing is recognizing within your own self what it is that needs healed. What is it um, that you're not in your highest vibration? You're going to find those answers in this time of silence, in this time of taking a step back from any love relationships and just um, trying to, you're just trying to rest. You are very tired. Um, why is the four of swords here for Aries men? Yeah, you're being encouraged to be patient with yourself. Um, the time to take the time to weed out your own garden, take the time to, um, really think about what it is that you want. Um, what do you want from this healing? What do you want from this life? What do you want from love? Uh, and start to dig through those deep emotions that you necessarily haven't been, um, because you are going through that transformation. This is a challenge for you. Um, to take action but when you come out of this you are going to put faith in yourself put faith in your journey and move forward i don't really see too much love here for you guys yet because you're not ready for it you're not wanting it at this moment you're wanting to rest you're wanting to figure out what's going on in your own life this uh transformation is really confusing you with that death card this um you know more to more to bleh, i can't speak this we'll just say transformation, is really difficult for you to uh, work through because you don't quite understand it. But you are going to um, take action. You are going to get through this. There is, uh, you are putting faith in yourself and stepping out on the ledge here, um, stepping out of the box once you get out of the silence. But be patient with yourself. Um, this death process is a long and difficult journey. But when you do, in the future come out of this um, time of retreat you are coming out on in the upright high vibration and attracting in your perfect person so be patient take that time um, to do the inner work like you are um, taking that leap of faith and having trust in the universe and your journey um, is going to bring you right where you need to be and right where you want after that healing bringing in your wishes um, coming true. So make sure you're praising the universe for the lessons it's teaching you. Communicate with the divine. Thank them for the lessons. Thank them for the heartache. Thank them for everything um, because it's ultimately bringing you to your highest good. All right, Aries females, you're dealing with a very um, strong, dominant male energy in your life. Could be a father, an uncle, a uh, controlling uh partner but there's some uh there's some something that's going to come up that's going to kind of catch you off guard why is the tower okay so Aries females, you, um, you're dealing with somebody who played a very powerful role in your life. Um, this person was somebody that you counted on for, you know, to be there for the long haul. Could be another Aries, could be a Virgo or an Aries or Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this person made the choice to leave this connection, um, bringing your whole life into an upheaval. 
um, you are being encouraged to know that you are stronger than what you think you are. You can get through this. Um, allow this healing that's here for you. Yeah. You are really, really stuck in your memories today, thinking about this person an awful lot. And it's just kind of bringing you back down to this, to this uh, sad place that you are dealing with. Why is the King of Swords their challenge? Okay, so you're wanting a second chance with this person, but you're not quite through that death process yet either. You're still going through this transformation. This transformation had to happen to expose parts of you that needed healed so you could find the strength to move forward, finding that um, energy to heal uh, like past childhood hurts or this lifetime, your childhood hurts. Those have to be addressed and healed before this person can come back into your life. So it's going to feel like an upheaval until you address those childhood hurts that you have buried. And it's going to take you going within and finding your own source of healing, your own power connecting to the divine before you can heal those. Um, you could have come from a family that was very, there was a lot of fighting going on. You could have, you know, your dad could have abandoned you. You know, there's so many childhood hurts, but it has something to do with your childhood, not somebody not investing in a connection with you as a child. Why is the hermit here? Yeah, until then, you're not going to be able to openly um, contribute to a relationship um, until those are addressed and healed. Um, but they will, this will return for you if you so wish, or somebody else will come in. You need to work on that self-love and filling that cup up for yourself so you can allow love to come in. Because we can't allow love to come in and we can't love in the right way until we love ourselves. So most definitely keep working on your, um, yeah, keep working on the love of self, um, connecting with the divine, allowing the divine to bring you healing. Because when you do, your wishes will then come true. Having somebody come in, offering you that love after you release the hurt and the betrayal you felt from this person leaving, will that soulmate show up in your life, bringing you a commitment from there. All right. Uh, Leos. Let's see what we have going on for our Leo friends. Leos, Leo, Leo, Leo. Whoa. Ugh, about couldn't reach it. All right. Let's get a couple shuffles in here for you guys. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So you are reminded, Leos, to make sure you are giving out of the goodness of your heart and not expecting something in return, as well as giving your gratitude to the universe for the blessings in your life. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We are ready. Leo, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Leo men. You have the eight of wands. Leo females, you have the eight of cups. Your guys' situation you're dealing with today is the page of swords. The challenge for you is the devil. In your recent past, you have the Ten of Cups. In your near future, you have the Ace of Wands. And the foundation of your reading is the Queen of Cups. Wow, with Temperance and Justice and Two of Cups after that. Okay. So both you, uh, Leo men and women, you are dealing with some... You're dealing with somebody who's quite younger than you, um, who you feel has a very strong hold on you, a very strong hold on your emotions. Um, could be a Capricorn, uh, but it doesn't have to be. It's just, I do see a large age difference here. Uh, and it's almost coming, it's almost getting to the, uh, like your thoughts about this connection are almost getting to the point of toxic. It's like thinking about it over and over. Um, you both have eights, which um, 
is all about taking action now. Let's see, what do I want to clarify with? In your recent past, this person really fulfilled you emotionally. Um, it really, you really seen a future with this person. You um, seen being able to move forward and grow. Uh, but there's something toxic here. Let me see. What do I want to clarify with? Okay. So, um, either way, Leo men, you're opening up communication about this. Um, there is a lot of messages going back and forth. Wow, look at that. Leo just came out in their reading. But let's see why the Page of Swords is here for our Leo men. Why is the Page of Swords here for Leo men? Why is the devil here? Why is the devil their challenge? Um, communicating with this person how this relationship has quickly become very heavy that um, it was fun it was light it was you know just it was a good time and then now it just feels like it's being like a lot of pressure is being put on you um, or this is coming in for you this communication is coming in but somebody's putting a lot of weight on the relationship that made it go from fun and having a good time to this is like wait this is not like almost not even worth it like i'm not even having fun anymore um this person could be um quite immature or they're not focusing enough on the relationship there's an imbalance here one of you is giving more than the other making it feel like the responsibility is all theirs to bury or carry um there is going to be an apology but i feel this is a cycle this happens a lot like you know you guys fight and then make up. Then you fight and then you make up. And there's just a lot of imbalances here that is starting to make it become toxic. In the past, this could be somebody who is divorced that you're dealing with. They have a lot of scars. They have a lot of baggage that they carry forward, which we all do. Um, so it, like they've been in serious relationships before. Um, they have a lot of scars. They have a lot of lessons that they've carried forward. Um, and it just, they could be letting their fear of this love going south like it has in the past. And it's now become very heavy. Like they want all your attention all the time. And if you're not, then they are spying on you, seeing what you're doing. Um, and that is making it toxic. In the near future, I do... Uh, see a new beginning in love and passion um and i do see you leo's having a choice of who you want that to be with um for some of you you're going to try to give this uh relationship another chance but you're there's going to be more fighting more conflict for those of you who are deciding to leave this connection because of the heaviness because you are at the end of your cycle you're almost there it just has to come in the upright so after this communication that will um, happen whether you decide to stay or go if you decide to go you will have many options in love of who to um, start a new cycle with for those of you who choose to give this person another chance I do feel it will leave lead to a lot of conflict down the road so um, focusing on what's best for you what brings you the most love and happiness and you know passion moving forward is key it is the most important but no matter what make sure you're not doing things if this is you expecting something in return you, you know it has to be an equal balance of giving and receiving um, because some I'm seeing that some of you are giving out more than what you're receiving and then making the other person almost feel bad or apologize for not giving you enough love so I do see that for a select few okay Leo females get these cards separated here there we go 
All right. Why is the Page of Swords here for Leo females? So there could be a little bit of spying going on um, here as well because there is a much younger person in your life at the moment that you are in a relationship with. Why is the devil the challenge? Thank you. And the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here for Leo females? And the Ace of Wands. And the Eight of Cups. Okay. So in your um, situation, you're dealing with Leo females. There is a much younger person that you um, have been seeing. I do feel you are walking away from them because of the imbalance in the relationship. They can't give you the time and energy that you desire for this relationship to be successful. So you are moving forward um, and finding balance in your own life um, because this person, they could have somebody else or um, they're just always at work or there's some kind of imbalance where they can't give you the time, attention, and love that you need or desire. So it's creating you to walk away. Even though this person brought you a lot of happiness, you were a secret. Um, they did not tell people about you. You couldn't tell people about them. And even though emotionally when you were together, it was amazing. When you were apart, you felt like something was missing. Like this isn't how I want to live my life. Um, so you could be communicating with that person this today, letting them know that you're moving forward, you're moving on, because this is constantly bringing you to a sad place. It's constantly making you wonder, what are they doing? Where are they at? Making it almost toxic for you because you're always concerned about why aren't they investing in me and why do I have to be the secret? Um, so by you uh, giving them the news that you are walking away or leaving, it is going to bring an emotional upset in your life. They could be continuing to watch what you're doing because it was very hard. It's very hard for you to leave this person. You care a lot about them. Um, it's a very difficult situation. Uh, you could work with them uh, for some of you, not all of you though. But, um, but you know you deserve better than to be someone's secret. You know you deserve more out of a relationship. And even though you're grateful that you... Um, met this person, you don't want to compromise what you need out of life to be an option. Uh, it's very hard to break this tie to this person because you do love them. There are a lot of feelings there and you know it's going to break your heart walking away, but you can't be, for some of you, you're a third party. You just can't do it anymore. You have to break the bond with this person um, to go after what um, is what you deserve, what you need. For some of you, there isn't a third party person. You're just, they just don't have time for a relationship. And even though it breaks your heart, you're going to move forward and away from this connection. Um, in the near future for you, you are um, finding a new spark, a new beginning, a new idea that's going to bring you a lot of stability. Um, there's something that you're very passionate about that you are going to invest in and find your own ground to stand on find your own stability find your own uh like not needing this person to make you happy um you could be leaving if you work with this person you're leaving and starting a new job um where you don't have to work with them anymore um because it is too hard to be around them every day and not be able to tell people how much you care about them that really is bothering you it's really bringing you down um, and you just, you can't do it anymore. You just are, you don't know what else to do. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna walk away from this situation, no matter how sad it makes you, because you know you deserve those two of cups that are behind that uh, person there. And once you get over the heartache of walking away from this connection, um, I do feel that you will uh, find an even stronger relationship. Right now, you're just trying to figure out which way to go, um, what your options are, and you're going to start making plans for the future, um, Leo women. All right. Let me put these in so they don't, they're not right next to each other. Okay. All right, 
Sagittarius, you are being um, you are being called to pay attention. That you there are signs and synchronicities happening around you. Spirit is trying to communicate with you where to go next. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do they need to know in love today? I said the message be brought for their best and greatest good. Thank you. All right. Sagittarius men. We have the King of Swords. Sagittarius females, you have the fool. Your guys' situation today is the moon. Your challenge is the three of cups. In the recent past, you have the page of wands. In the near future, you have the four of wands. And the foundation to your reading in the bottom of the deck is the eight of pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is under that with the Magician, all three cards of Virgo. You could be dealing with a Virgo or um, this began in the time of Virgo. Um, but no matter what, the foundation is you guys have both been working hard, uh, putting your nose to the grindstone and trying to manifest what you desire, what um, is in the spiritual into the material. Building a new life, working hard at um, getting your finances in order, uh, trying to distract yourself for some. Both men and women, you are dealing with something that you don't quite know about yet. Um, there is um, something coming in for you with this new moon phase. I think it begins, is it October 3rd? or the For some reason, the 28th is jumping out at me as well. So the 28th for some of you, the October 3rd for some of you. But there's something coming in for you that's going to bring you a lot of happiness. Um, but it's a, this is your challenge because you don't know about it yet. Um, Spirit is trying to show you there's something great coming for you. This is your intuition. This is, um, you know, also for some of you, you may need to be watching for red flags. There may be something hidden for you, from you that is not positive. And the universe is trying to show you the red flags. Um, and you're ignoring them that could stem from a that could be a third party. So just be cautious of who you're who you're uh, putting your trust in for a relationship. That's a very select few of you. For the majority of you, um, there's something that is being drawn to you uh, like two magnets. Um, the moon is pulling the two of you together. Uh, your challenge is happiness, joy, and celebration because you don't know it's coming. Um, men, you have the king of swords. You're coming out of a situation, lesson learned. Chalk it up to, uh, lesson learned. You, uh, well, let me see. Why is the king of swords here for Sagittarius men? You could be dealing with, uh, a cancer or an air sign, but you could, uh, you could be moving forward, taking action, and giving somebody an apology. Uh, you could have left somebody, more than likely another fire sign, um, or a water sign. That's the only signs I see for you guys. But you who cut somebody out of your life in the past. Um, I feel you could have done it too hasty. You could have been focused on work and wanted to focus on your career rather than a relationship. And you left them behind. You um, removed yourself from the situation, the relationship. You have a lot of deep feelings for this person. Like this person truly made you happy. But there was something you felt they were hiding something from you for some of you. Um, and really they weren't. Uh, you, are, you are, you know, coming out of a cycle. And now that you have removed yourself from the situation... You secretly miss them. You want to be with them. And you are going to come forward and offer this person from the past um, an apology. Opening up communication with them. Sending them a message. Beginning to communicate with them again. Because they truly do bring you 
like an enthusiasm about life. They make you want to discover more, uh, you know, be adventurous. They get you out of your shell, out of your box. And, and you miss that. You miss them so bad. I can feel it in, uh, I can feel it in my heart. Why is the moon here for Sagittarius men? Yeah, you secretly want to go back. You walked away from them in the past. like Just like I said, you removed yourself from the situation. And now you regret that you walked away. You want to come back. Um, whoa. Yeah, this person has really been working on themselves in, in this time apart. They've really been um, working towards their future, taking the time to um, work through things that, because this person um, really couldn't figure out why you cut them out of your, your life. Nothing really happened. You just felt in order to advance your career or in order to, um, you just felt like it was time for you to move on. But now that you're gone, you want to come back. You want to feel the the joy and celebration and happiness of coming back together. Why is the three cups our challenge? You could be scared that they already moved on as well. Yeah, you're worried that they won't accept your offer. You're worried they moved on already. They're worried. You're worried that they will deny your offer of coming back together. In your near future, however, you are coming into a stable connection. You could be moving homes. Um, one of you, if you're both fire signs, one of you, whoever is the one that felt betrayed by being walked away from, that cycle is done and over, and the two of you can move into a more stable connection. For some of you, you're moving into a new home together. You could have recently just sold a home as well. Um, but this is, wow. The old way of doing things is done. You're both coming through a transformation. They could be a Scorpio Sag cusp as well, or you could be, but you are letting your old fear and doubts and insecurities go. You are coming out of that phase or stage in your um, ascension. You are releasing the old, putting the past behind you both, no longer resisting the pull that the two of you feel together. And this is moving into a very beautiful new beginning with a new home, a new relationship with this person, um, emotional center, finally feeling like you're with the person you love, able to start your new chapter, could be with another Sagittarius, but things are definitely working in your favor, going your way and moving in a very positive direction, um, Sagittarius men. All right, Saggy females. So you could have been dealing with, uh, needing to get your finances in order. You also could have been dealing with a Virgo. Um, we also got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here, um, Aries, Leo, Sag. So once again, only um, fire and water, uh, unless it's a Virgo. Um, but I'm seeing mostly fire and water here. So why is the moon here for Sagittarius females? Also, Sagittarius men, it's like your intuition is so strongly telling you to go back to this person. You are seeing the synchronicities. You are hearing and feeling your intuition telling you to go back. And that's why you are. So, all right, Sagittarius females, you um, are missing the signs and synchronicities that what is hidden to you is you truly do have a new beginning here. You have fool and fool. So, um, what you don't realize is the two of you are being pulled as well, but you have to make that first step. When you put faith in your journey and trust in your path and the divine and take that leap of faith by yourself, knowing that the ground will always catch you, um, on your feet and the divine will never bring you to a place where you're not meant to be. Put trust and faith in that 
and something that something that you truly want deep down um, is going to come uh, for you, giving you this new beginning. Once again, just like the males, the two of you are being drawn together. Your intuition is screaming at you and you're not listening. So make sure you're listening to your communication with your guides, with your, you know, source, because it is leading you to, once again, a stable, loving commitment. Um, why is the Three of Cups a challenge? Yeah, you can't, it's, your challenge is being happy with the situation and joyous and celebrating because you, you've been waiting here forever for your ships to come in and they haven't. You're starting to give up hope. You're starting to lose the faith. Um, and, but it is manifesting. It just takes time. So your challenge is to see the joy in everything, the blessing in everything and know and have faith and trust that when you jump off that cliff, that boat's going to be right there catching you and it's going to have your blessings on it. Why is the page of wands here in the past? Yeah. So, um, you could have been, uh, you could have been communicating with a younger um, individual that like the communication just cut off. Um, it gave you the time to heal in the proper way. Once again, Virgo's at the bottom of the deck. So you could have a Virgo with like an Aries, Leo, Sag, Moon or Rising. Um, but you needed to take the time to rest. This had to happen in this way. So you had time to heal your mind, body and soul and be able to walk your truth. Um, so communication could have been cut off by somebody who retreated from the connection, disconnected from you, um, because there was a ending that had to happen. This had to happen this way so you could go through your spiritual rebirth. You had to be sent into this retreat so you could focus and start receiving your communication. But beautiful things are coming for you. Um, this is The moon isn't always about secrets and deceit. It's about deep romance. It's about intuitive feelings it's about a connection to the moon feeling connected to um your feminine energy uh having faith and trust in the universe that every nightfall turns into a beautiful morning light that we are promised a new beginning just like we're promised every day a new day to make it exactly how we want it um that is our gift to us the sun shines and rises every morning and we have the choice of whether we're going to make it a great day or a shitty day. The same opportunity is given to every single person in this world. It's about what you make of it. What kind of faith and hope and trust are you going to put in your journey and in the divine and in turn make the very best of it. Celebrate every blessing. Um, celebrate every lesson. And have trust that your blessings are on their way. For sure, because your energy is the fool. You are taking that leap of faith, Sagittarius females. Why is the fool in their energy? You are the one taking that leap. Wow, and it's going to bring you right to what you have been hoping and wishing for. It's going to bring you to that emotional fulfillment because you have already filled your own cup. You have already done the work and you're now ready for this true new beginning with a soulmate that is returning to your life that has put you in a delay you could be dealing with a sagittarius male actually who is a divine partner for you who does want to create a new life with you but you have to show faith in the connection you have to show faith in the universe and take on the path yourself um, stepping out into the world and know that your emotional fulfillment is coming um, why is it? Wow. With a, another fire sign, more than likely taking that leap of faith, um, having that emotional fulfillment once again, possibly with another Sagittarius, um, Aries, Leo, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Why is the four of wands here in the future energy? Uh, Sagittarius females, you, uh, could be moving homes as well. Uh, this is something long awaited is what I'm feeling, but it's going to, you're finding stability and commitment or you're finding stability and happiness when you put faith in yourself. Um, this is a new home, you know, finding your independence, um, not counting on anybody else for your shelter, your security, stepping into your own path, doing what it is that you want, running your life the way that you want it. And the sun is going to illuminate the way there for you, the way to happiness. 
you have the sun and the moon. Um, you know, so it's bringing in your uh, perfect balance, your um, light and shadow side balanced, bringing in your perfect uh, vibrant or, you know, your perfect relationship, not, you know what I mean? Nobody is perfect, but the best relationship for you at this time, the universe is illuminating the way for you. Um, and it's most definitely bringing you in a lot of changes, a lot of blessings, a lot of happiness. And once again, another Sagittarius card, but, um, big changes are here for you. And it's going to bring you warmth and love and happiness, security, stable foundation, something that can grow and be abundant day after day. Life is what you make it. So make it happy. Make it fun. Enjoy, you know, life. But keep putting in the work. Every day we have the choice of whether we're going to be happy and enjoy every part of life or are we going to sulk and, and have a shitty day. So know that you have love coming in for you. Know that by you putting faith in yourself and the universe, it's going to bring you beautiful places with beautiful changes and putting you on the path of discovery of where you need to be and where you want to be. Also bringing in a balance within yourself and a partner who can give as much as you give, receive as much as you receive. So by you taking the time and putting in the work, of just healing your own mind, body, and soul. It's pretty much bringing you in everything that you have wanted. Jupiter is here and it is bringing in, it's Christmas morning and Jupiter is Santa Claus. It's bringing you in big gifts, um, Sagittarius men and women. So, all right guys, I hope you have a, a beautiful day um, and I'm sending you all my love and light. God bless.